The returning officers will conduct the scrutiny of nomination papers on the scheduled date. Anyone, including the candidates, their election agent, proposer, seconder, and representative, or any voter of the same constituency having objected to the nomination papers, can participate in this process. The ROs will provide a suitable opportunity for objectors to examine the complete nomination papers. And all ROs will conduct a detailed examination of the papers in the presence of candidates, their election agents, proposers, or any voter who may have objected to the nomination papers. They will ensure the provision of all information and ascertain their accuracy. During the scrutiny, ROs are not allowed to ask irrelevant questions or any questions that are not part of the objections raised. As part of the scrutiny, the ROs, if required, may also carry out a short inquiry. However, the ROs will provide due opportunity to correct minor mistakes in the nomination papers instead of making it a basis for their rejection. In addition to conventional scrutiny methods, with the use of technology, the ROs will also be able to conduct online scrutiny. Nomination papers can be rejected only in the following situations. If the candidate is not eligible to be elected as member of the parliament, if the proposer or seconder of the candidate is not registered as a voter in the same constituency or if he, she has supported more than one candidates, if in addition to Article 62 and 63 of the Constitution, any condition of Section 60 and 61 of the Election Act 2017 has not been fulfilled or if the candidate has provided incorrect information if the signature of the candidate's proposer or seconder is forged. The ROs will write on the nomination papers of each candidate their decision about the acceptance or rejection of the papers. The reason for the rejection of the papers will be communicated to the candidate and details of the decision will be recorded in the relevant form. For the purpose of scrutiny, the ROs can get assistance from any government department. After the scrutiny process, the ROs will prepare a list of eligible candidates on Form 32 and display it at a prominent place in their office. Furthermore, they will provide Form 32 through District Returning Officer to the Election Commission of Pakistan as well as the District Election Commissioner, Regional Election Commissioner and Provincial Election Commissioner. Appeal Against Scrutiny Decisions Section 63 and 64 the RO's decision regarding the scrutiny of nomination papers can be challenged in an appellate tribunal. The appellate tribunal will conduct a short hearing according to the time frame laid down by the Election Commission and give a final decision on the appeal lodged against the RO's decision. If the appellate tribunal fails to pronounce any verdict within the prescribed time, the RO's decision on the nomination papers will be considered final. If required, the returning officers will issue a revised list of candidates on Form 32 in light of the appellate tribunal's decision. Return of Nomination Papers, Section 65 Qualified candidates can withdraw their nomination papers through a written request to the RO within or before the date specified in the election schedule. The withdrawal request, having signature of the candidate, should be submitted in person by the candidate or through an authorized lawyer. The ROs will verify the candidate's signature on the withdrawal request. A withdrawal request cannot be withdrawn or cancelled. The ROs will display the withdrawal request at a prominent place in their office and communicate the same to the relevant Provincial Election Commissioner, District Returning Officer and District Election Commissioner. On the day following the date of withdrawal of nomination papers, the returning officer will allot election symbols to all the candidates. Form 33 will be compiled as per Urdu alphabetical order and the list of final candidates Form 33 shall immediately be sent to the Election Commission which shall publish the same on its website. And a copy of the same will also be provided to the concerned Provincial Election Commissioner, Regional Election Commissioner, District Returning Officer and District Election Commissioner. Section 72 Candidates can retire from the election 
by submitting a written request to the RO four days before the polling date using a handwritten notice bearing their signature. Retirement of a candidate from election The retirement request can be submitted in person by the candidate along with their signature or through an authorized lawyer. Retirement requests cannot be withdrawn or cancelled. The returning officers will display the notice of retirement of a candidate at a prominent place in their office and communicate the same through revised Form 33 to the relevant Provincial Election Commissioner, District Returning Officer and District Election Commissioner. Death of a Candidate After Nomination in case of a candidate's death before or during polling, the returning officers will, through a public notice, immediately halt the election process. In such a situation, nomination and scrutiny process will have to be carried out afresh, as per the procedures laid down in the Election Act 2017. In this case, Election Commission will issue the election schedule again. Other candidates in the constituency concerned will not be required to submit nomination papers and security fees again.